Ready? All right, welcome back. I want to touch on our uh, discussion of wing design. Uh, we're concerned about wing design and how our wing produces lift uh, so we can visualize, conceptualize the production of lift by our wings as it relates to when we maneuver our aircraft and when we're trying to recover the aircraft in an upset. Uh, let's look now at a rectangular wing here. There's uh, three basic shapes we'll look at, the rectangular, the moderately tapered wing, and then the swept back or the swept wing. Uh, the rectangular wing, which is uh, very common, uh, especially in general aviation, smaller general aviation aircraft, um, very efficient airfoil. Um, but what we want to discuss now is the effect of center pressure, uh, the movement of center pressure uh, as we're producing on this wing. Now, you can think of center of pressure or center of lift as the average of all the lift being produced by the wing at that point, specific point in time. So does it make sense that center of pressure or center of lift for this particular wing might be about right here? As we begin to increase angle of attack, which of course is going to uh, ch change or affect our lift being produced by the wing, uh, and we approach critical angle of attack, we all know that at certain points, at certain times, or certain angles of attack, we'll begin to have boundary layer separation. Uh, and typically on a rectangular wing, this is going to happen right about the root area, the wing root area. We begin to lose boundary layer separation and lift production is dramatically decreased or lost in on this portion of the wing. Now, if you lose lift on this portion of the wing, you can now see that it affects the average of all the lift or the center of pressure now moves, and notice it moves forward and to the left. This is important for us to understand because now our lifting moment arms have changed on the wing, which is now going to affect our controllability and stability of the airplane. Notice uh, that also this, this turbulent airflow, where is it going? Well, it's going back across the tail, hitting the empanage and tail feathers. And this is, of course, typically the buffet that we feel as we're approaching the high angles of attack around stall. Look at the moderately tapered wing. Where is it going to happen? Well, it's actually going to happen a little farther outboard. Notice now that ailerons are being affected. Once again, center pressure going to move forward in this uh, particular case. What about a swept wing? Well, the swept wing, you're going to get boundary layer separation out at the tip first, typically. Uh, and notice certainly ailerons uh, are going to be affected. And notice that the uh, center of pressure is moving inboard and forward. And as it moves inboard and forward, it's even moving uh, forward at a greater longitudinal ratio compared to the rectangular wing. Now, do you, if you're flying a rectangular wing aircraft, do you care about a swept wing? Well, absolutely, because the moment you put your airplane in a slipper skid, you've just turned it into swept wing with swept wing stall characteristics. Once again, having an understanding of how center of pressure moves as we change our angle of attack is very important in our understanding of effective and efficient upset recovery uh, techniques. Uh, not only can an airplane be upset because we have changed our center of pressure and our lifting moment arms, but most certainly once we've entered certain uh, portions of the flight envelope, our center of pressure is going to move and change those lifting moment arms, again affecting our controllability and stability of the airplane. We go into greater detail and understand these principles at APS Emergency Maneuver Training because we're trying to teach you and give you some tangible and uh, uh, tangible and uh, direct uh, skills with which uh, to recover an airplane. And these academics are going to provide the foundation on which you understand why we're doing what we're doing in the airplane. More to follow. Thanks for joining.